All right, so we're going to use Terraform and KVM to create a virtual machine running Ubuntu server. So we're going to build a VM running Ubuntu server. Now we're going to take a look at our Terraform file. And right here we have our provider defined. So that's for libvirt. And here we have a volume defined. And it, it's named after the, uh, and there, there's the source that we're going to install from. So we have a source image, like basically a template image that we're going to install this from. Now here we have our virtual machine defined. There's the name, the, the memory, the CPU, and we've also specified the network. That's our host bridge network that we previously defined. Now here for the disk, we specify a volume ID and we are referencing the volume that we created above. So this volume up here, we're going to reference this volume and we're going to reference the ID of this volume and we're going to specify that you use that to specify one of the disks in our virtual machine that we're defining. Now here at the bottom, we have our console and our graphics. So we're going to enable a console and we are going to enable VNC for graphics. So we can, we can connect with both of those after the host is brought up. And we'll also be able to connect with SSH, assuming it comes up with an IP. But in any case, we're going to run Terraform init just to pull down our provider and prepare everything, and then we run Terraform plan, and it will show us everything that it plans to do. So it's, notice it's going to be creating these resources, the volume and the virtual machine. So now we're going to go ahead and say Terraform apply, check over everything one last time, and then we are going to say, we're, we're going to type in yes, and it's going to create our resources for us. Now, this part has been sped up a lot. It still takes a, a few seconds here, but it actually took a whole lot longer for this to run. So I, I sped that portion of the video up. And um, <clears throat> next we are just gonna go take a look at what we have. So we're gonna run versh list dash dash all. And there we go. Our new host is host four. Host two and three were already there. Host four is the new host. So run versh console host four, and notice we can connect on the console. We can log right in here, and we will be connected to the virtual machine. You can check it's been up for six minutes. So it, it's been that much time before I came back and recorded this clip of the video. So I had stopped and come back and recorded this part. But um, in any case, I'm gonna check Etsy issue. No, it's running Ubuntu 18 because that's the that's what I had, uh, the media I had available for this at the moment. I had other issues pulling it down directly. So in any case, you can exit out of there, hit control, right square bracket to actually leave the console. And when we SSH into the host, we uh, it's it's going to say there are three different entries in uh, known hosts. Th those are just entries. This is completely fine. We can say yes and continue on. Those are just um, previous VMs that had existing entries in the known hosts file. So um, yeah, I, I I should just go and clean that up later on. But w w those are known issue. That that's a known thing. So it's it's not a big deal, and we can kind of just ignore that. And so now we're going to connect with VNC. So we're going to connect over here. And there we go. It's basically the same thing we had when we logged in with the console. So we're able to connect with uh, VNC, SSH, and the console. So now we're going to go ahead and run versh list all. See our, our, our running hosts there. Note host four is the one that we created. We're going to run terraform destroy. It's going to tell us all the things it plans to destroy. Notice all the red dashes and the fact that it says these will be destroyed. So there we go. Destroyed ran pretty quickly. Destroyed our volume and our virtual machine. So two resources destroyed.
So go ahead and hit that like button and you're, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss out on all the great content we have coming up. We'll also have a lot of great content we've already put out. So you're going to want to go ahead and look at that history of videos that we have and um, make sure you also hit the bell icon. Otherwise, YouTube's not going to let you know when we do come out with a new video. And again, you're not, not going to want to miss some of the stuff we have coming up. So yeah, definitely subscribe, hit the bell icon, and more importantly, leave a comment down below. Not just for me, but for the next person who comes along and watches this video, they'll see your comments and be that much more informed. Um, if you know something I don't know, leave a comment down below. Any comments, questions, criticisms, whatever you want to say, we do want to hear it. So leave a comment down below. And um, as always, thanks for watching, and we will see you guys in the next video.